Well, it is a hot topic. Parents and guardians focused on how children are prepared to succeed or not in the world. So our next guest, who is also a father of two, wrote a book about it. It's Dan Lear, motivational speaker and author of Is Your Child Wired for Success? And he joins us now in studio. Dan, good to see you back in studio. Thank you, Jason. Great to be here. A absolutely. So um, wired for success. Are we talking about uh, computers? Or are we talking about <laughs> just wired up here? Wired up there. It's, okay. it's really just a, a metaphor for how, uh, as we as we're young people developed into adults, we have certain wiring that takes place right. in your brain that says, this is how I'm supposed to do things, or this is how to be, to, to be successful. So, so the, the book is about how some children, unfortunately, are being wired for mediocrity, oh. and some children are being wired for success. And it's just really a, a great guide for parents on taking a look at how they want to do it. What are some of the tips that parents <laughs> can know? I know, they, you, I know you want people to read your book, but are there any, that, you know, a few simple ones? Oh, yeah. Well, there's seven principles for success. There's three different stages in what's called the psycho-success developmental theory, not okay. to get too scientific on it. Right. But the third stage is from age 11 through high school and college. That's where the real wiring takes place. That's where we start to shape behavior as young adults. And okay. so there's two fundamentals that parents, really, we all know it, right. um, but I laid it out and, and really talked about it. One is consequences, okay. right? So as you know, as an adult, Jason, there's consequences to whatever you do. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, there's consequences. Sure. So that's a, that's a key principle for success. Yeah. So you think about what happens, let's say there's a behavioral, let's say you have a son and there's a behavioral issue or a discipline issue and you say, okay, Johnny, that's it. No more Xbox for the weekend. Right. And then three, you know, two hours later, he's up there playing Xbox. Yeah. A simple example like that. Okay. And what happens is the kid doesn't, there's not a connection between the consequences of, from behavior. Right. Fast forward, and I'm just giving you a simple example. Yeah, Fast okay. forward, uh, he's got to go to, to work, he gets out in the real world, he gets his first job out of college, he's supposed to be to work at nine, shows up at 9, 10, the uh -oh. boss says, hey, Johnny, it's nine o'clock. Uh, it doesn't really get it because it hasn't been reinforced through the years. Right. He gets fired six months later because he can't show up on time. Now I know I know that your book isn't about you know like um, finding like ways to wire your kid, <laughs> the ways that some of our parents did it back in like let's say the 70s. No, no. Because in this world of political correctness, I can't yeah. see you know beating your kid into no. you know. <laughs> well, that's you know that's that's part of the big talking point right now yeah. is that the things have changed so much. And this book is not about how you. Should should do it, right. the right parenting uh, procedures. But here's what I do know. The people that I talk with around the country, no matter what demographic they're from, socioeconomic group, every parent wants their kids to be successful. End right. of story. And what success really means, it's not about money. It's about how they manage the world, how they can handle the landscape of difficulties, upsets, breakups, disappointments, all Got those it. things. And that's what success really is. Perfect, Dan. Uh, appreciate it. Grab the book, Is Your Child Wired for Success by Dan Lear. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Appreciate Glad it. Glad to be here. Thanks. All right.